Hi guys, Dr. Negative here. Firstly, thank you very much for stopping by the channel and for giving this video a watch. If you want to give it a like, feel free. If you don't have to, if you don't want to, it's your choice. Secondly, this is a video that I wouldn't normally do. This is me sharing my thoughts on why I think season one of Warzone slash Cold War is the best season so far. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Feel free to drop your comments below and let's see your thoughts on it. So season one has only been live for seven days and me claiming that it's the best season so far is a bold statement. But I have my reasons for why I think this is. This will mostly be me talking about the new guns that have been introduced to Warzone and what guns I'm currently using and making the most of. Firstly, in the season one update, they seem to have fixed a few things that were really bugging me. Mainly, Meliang was a two hit kill and I'm sure I'm not the only person who has questioned that. While they have fixed this slightly, it requires the three or four hits, which while it still doesn't make sense, I prefer to the two hit system, probably like many other people do. For some reason, the game itself feels a bit more fluid as well. Now, this could be because I've been playing a lot more Cold War recently than I have Warzone, leading up to the 16th of December when they released Season 1. But since jumping back into it after that update, it just feels like the game is a little bit more fluid and running a little bit more smoother. Again, this could just be the fact that I've been playing Cold War and then coming over to this. Yes, they get different games and yes, they play differently. So it could just be down to that, but who knows? They might have just done some small little tweaks in the background. With the introduction of the Cold War weapons, the game feels like it has had some long overdue balancing introduced. While there are people that really don't like the Cold War guns, my opinion is that the vast majority of them absolutely shred. Whether the ground loot is grey or legendary, all the guns seem to hit really hard compared to the Warzone ground loot, all by a few exceptions like the Kilo, the Bruin and the Ground. Gunfights feel more balanced and almost feel like they're a lot longer now because you have an entirely new armory to select from, getting rid of some of the old guns that we all just had enough of. With the introduction of the Cold War weapons, the game feels like it has had some long overdue balancing introduced. While there are people that really don't like the Cold War guns, my opinion is that the vast majority of them absolutely shred. I've been using the M16 and the MAC-10 the past couple of days, and it just makes for a whole different fighting style. The 4 times scope on the M16 gives you great range, and the 3 round burst is manageable at all distances. As well as the M16, I've been playing around with the QBZ, the FAR and the Krig, and all three are proven to be great guns so far and are hitting really hard. With Season 6 introducing the SPR, which was the most broken gun yet, I would say, with it being hit scan and all, it isn't surprising that we have received a new gun that is somewhat broken in its own way. I am, of course, talking about the Mac 10. The Mac 10 has a silly fire rate and downs enemies stupidly fast. Some will say this gun is OP and needs to be nerfed. Personally, I don't think it should be nerfed. This gun is great. We finally have a gun that outperforms the shotguns with Dragon Rounds, the MP5s that were spec to be ridiculous, and the MP7s as well. This gun is a camper's worst nightmare, easily. I would happily get killed by the Mac-10 time and time again just so I don't have to hear that annoying doof doof whilst I burn to a crisp. It would have been great to get a new map to replace for Dansk or at least a smaller size map that is more along the lines of Sanuk on PUBG where you can still have a 100 man lobby. I know Rebirth Island is a lot smaller but you can't play solos, duos or quads on it and even playing trios on that map is a push at best, let's face it. Whilst Rebirth Island does have some fun moments, it isn't a normal BR mode, it's just a strange version of Plunder. Personally, I think the introduction of a slightly smaller map for all game modes would be welcome with open arms by everyone, and it is well overdue. Maybe they'll add on to Rebirth Island, and that's just the start of something. Perhaps it's going to be like the base part of the map, and they're going to add areas around it to make it a little bit bigger. Who knows? With everything said, and putting aside the glitches that have happened, the unlimited stims, god mode, juggernauts... Do I need to continue with the list? I think we all have ones that we hate. I think season one has laid a good base for them to build on going into 2021. And I think it can only go up from here. 
Maybe we'll get a new map after all in 2021. Who knows? But the main thing for me is the new guns from Cold War seem to have brought a new balance to Warzone and they seem to make the game more enjoyable again. It doesn't feel like when I go on the game to play with friends that all I want to do is turn it off instantly. I'm actually looking forward to playing it again. And that's the main thing. And I'm glad that has happened. There is still probably some more things to come along the road from the developers to bring us in season one. Maybe some more game modes and multiplayer. Maybe there'll be some more things that they drop in for Warzone as well along the way. Who knows? The battle pass this season I think is great. And I think that we can all appreciate that whilst the vast majority of this has probably developed one way or another during the stages of lockdown. They've done a really solid job compared to what some other games have had during this year with everything that's been going on. So with all this said, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. You can also catch me live on Facebook pretty much every weekday at the moment until the new year. And then I'll have to work on a new schedule as I go back to work. Come over, join in the streams, join in some games and join the Discord community. Stay safe. Have a good Christmas. Happy New Year.